Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ben Marks. I uh, started with Magento almost three years ago. I was the first hire for a, just a little Magento development company. And after lots of years of swearing and lost hair and, and sleepless nights, uh, Magento has come to make a lot of sense to me, and I love it, love it dearly. Worked on lots of different implementations, um, from just simple theming, you know, taking PSDs all the way through, all the way through to uh, full website, and then I've done a lot of integration work, etc. So, um, my experience with Magento is hopefully like a lot of yours already is, or like you, your experience will be. The goals that we've identified for this course are understanding Magento architecture and, and module, module structure and some of the conventions behind how those modules are put together. Um, and right along with what some of you guys want, we will in fact teach you uh, how to extend Magento, write some custom modules, and you'll understand you know, the whys and hows of, of you know, this file here and this structure here and, and this syntax here. Uh, that's, that's been one of the pleasures of this course is actually dispelling either dispelling myths or, or actually you know, showing people best practices and how things should work. Uh, uh, also, we'll be uh, touching on towards the last uh, day or so, actually the last two days, we'll be um, looking at, uh, at, at upgrade, specifically upgrade scripts, but then throughout the course I'll try and let you guys know, uh, make you aware of any potential gotchas as far as being able to upgrade later on. So there are all these different areas in Magento. Um, we're focusing on the core and the admin. Uh, there are other courses under development that will likely address some of these other areas. So do keep an eye out for our course offering. All right. So we've broken the we've broken this this whole this whole week out into different sections. Uh, so. Today we're going to be doing Magento Basics, and, and that also includes, some, for some of you it'll be a review because we'll be doing, uh, reviewing some information on object-oriented programming and MVC principles and really how Magento has its own take on those in case you haven't had any experience with the code yet. Uh, and we move on to the request flow, so basically how Magento uh, receives a request and, and gets, it, uh, gets it into the hands of the correct module and gets the output generated um, like you would hope it would be, uh, which is the rendering. And then uh, the big ones are database and EAV. So for those of you who don't know, Magento has this um, often feared EAV modeling in place that just allows for complex, uh, complex entity representation. And we'll tackle these two together because um, Honestly, Magento is a fantastic framework that, that does a lot of the work for you, including some of the stuff in the ORM. And then, on the last day, Adam, this is your admin HTML. So we'll be going into, well, actually, by the, uh, by, the end of, I think by the end of the rendering lesson, we actually start building a module. So at the end of the course, you'll have a really a complete module that you can refer to kind of as a scaffold to build other modules. And that'll include admin, admin grids with Ajax and everything else. <clears throat> oh, I pulse. Uh, some quick facts about Magento. Uh, we, I can't actually keep the slide updated enough. Uh, Magento is growing and growing and growing. Over 200 employees. I'm pretty sure well over 25 billion in transactions. Uh, millions and millions of downloads. Uh, the community, I'm sure you know, is, is large and vocal. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Magento started out as, uh, as Varian and has since become Magento Incorporated. Let's see. And uh, yeah, we're right here at the uh, global headquarters in Los Angeles. Um, there are different solutions with Magento. Uh, uh, Magento Enterprise, which is basically the, the code that we're, we'll be working with. Um, that is actually uh, based, though, on the Magento community. Uh, Magento Professional it builds on community as well with uh, not quite as much stuff as Enterprise present. There's also Magento Go and the Magento Go platform, which uh, are, I think, Magento Go platform is still in beta, but uh, these are turnkey e-commerce solutions, um, as well as Magento Mobile, which is a subscription service that you can use to get your store uh, onto iPads and iPhones and Android platforms.